My name is Alan Hudd. I founded Alchemy just over 10 years ago. The journey to where we are now, where we're about to totally disrupt the textile industry by changing it from a highly polluting industry with lots of emissions to a, a clean tech digital industry has been uh, full of challenges. The point where we really focused on textiles was when I was engaged as a consultant in China for an owner of a dye company. I actually showed him a video of the technology walking down an alleyway at 10.30 at night. The following morning, he picked me up and said, let's go and see a dye house. I went inside, temperature rose another 10 degrees, so it was unbearable. Polluted dye on the, on the floor, full of steam and dust. It was really a horrible environment. And out of the fog, a Chinese guy, no shirt, huge scar across his chest, he then showed me around the dye house and I thought this surely can't be the way we all dye textile fabrics. There must be a better way. This digital technology we're developing at Alchemy can really change this industry. Technical challenges are relatively easy compared with the challenges of engaging with a traditional industry that is highly skeptical of new technology. The brands accept and want to change, but the dye houses who supply the brands have no incentive to change. The big challenge is convincing people that technology is the way forward. And the industry has been burnt in the past by technologies that have failed at the first or the second stage. So it really is uh, all about the detail of convincing the market with real data. And so we were very lucky to find two external investors in the form of a trade investor in H&M and also an impact investor called At One Ventures out of San Francisco. And they were like-minded investors in an initiative that really set us going to where we are today. When we look at other initiatives we've, we've made, then there are lots, including winning prizes, such as the KIC uh, climate change initiative in the early days, and also the Fashion for Good Dry project, which has been very successful. Pretty much all the responsible brands have, have now declared targets on a reduction of fresh water, so therefore the reduction of polluting wastewater, and reducing emissions. So finally at last, as we move towards 2030, I think the brands increasingly are getting more serious about it. But it is still very much early days. The brands are not investing as much as they should to bring about this change. And it is critical, super critical, the next 10 years that we act and we invest and we change this industry. We're determined to bring about this change, but we really need governments and brands on board with us to, to make this happen in the time that's necessary over the next five to 10 years. Probably if I had to pick one really memorable moment where I thought, yes, we, we've got this, we're gonna change this industry, our technology works, is when we successfully managed to dye a really thick fleece uh, cotton towel. And we got a perfect result um, that everybody in the industry couldn't believe we managed to do it. And that was probably a, a, the reinforcing moment to say we're on our way. We're certainly planning in the next few years to really make a big commercial impact, engage with brands, deploy our technology into many dye houses, mainly in Asia. Deploying one of our systems into a production factory has an immediate impact on sustainability. You get those savings, you get those gains. I fully expect within the next five years or so that we will definitely become the first textile digital unicorn. We'll then keep uh, relentlessly focusing on reducing energy and bringing about a clean tech industry. We have an ambition within Alchemy to really uh, have a, a, a textile dyeing factory that is completely off-grid within the next 10 years.